Welcome back. In the previous steps, we were introduced to the world of object-oriented programming. And in the previous step, we created the motorbike class and we set a state for it. One of the things you might typically be thinking about is you might want to do something when an object is created. So when the motorbike object is being created, you might want to do something. You might want to print something. How can you do that? That's where constructors come into picture. In this step, we will define a constructor for the motorbike class and we'll try and print something in it. How do you define a constructor for a motorbike class? Once we start defining the constructor, this is not going to be an empty class anymore. So I'll remove the pass and over here, I can define a method. Constructor is a special method. So the way we would define it is by saying underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore. One of the important things to understand is the fact that for all the methods in a class, which are instance methods, you need to pass in an attribute called self. We will talk about a few puzzles related to self a little later. For now, the important thing is you need to exactly define as per the syntax here. So underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore, and you pass a parameter called self. And over here, you can define what you want to do when a motorbike class is created. So I can say motorbike instance created. So all that we did is defined a simple function. We removed the pass and we added in this piece of code in. Let's see what would happen if I run this. If you see at the start, we see that motorbike instance created is printed twice. So when we are executing this line of code, you'd see that this is printed. And when we are creating the next instance, then this is also created. You'd see that, let's say I'm creating another instance. Let's call this Ducati 2. So I'll say Ducati 2 is equal to motorbike and run it. And you'd see that now a third statement is printed, motorbike instance created. So whenever we create an instance of an object, this code over here is executed. Typically, we use constructors not to just print statements. What we want to do is we would want to initialize the objects that are present in here. Let's remove this line of code, Ducati 2. What we are doing here is actually we are creating an object and we are setting the initial data. We are creating an object and we are setting the initial data. Why not? set the initial data right when we are constructing the object. Why not say motorbike of 50? Why not say motorbike of 250? Why not set the initial state into the instance of the object directly? One of the things you'd see if you hover over here, it says unexpected argument. And you'd see that when you, because the constructor as it is right now, it's not ready to accept the argument 50. So how can we set 50 into the instance of the object? We can add it as a parameter to the constructor. So I can say speed. What we are doing is we are adding a parameter called speed to the constructor. And now I would want to make use of this speed variable. So I can say print speed. Let's comment out all the lines of code which are doing print on the Honda. Control slash or command slash and run this. What you'd see now is 50 is printed and then motorbike instance created. 250 is created, motorbike instance created. So the value which we are passing in here is present over here. So we are able to take it and print it. However, if I uncomment these two lines of code, you'd see if I run this, you'd see an error because it says Honda, oops, it's failing right now because of an unexpected indent. Let's fix the indent. Let's fix that up and let's run it again. And now you'd see that motorbike has no attribute called speed. So what it's saying is I have no idea what this speed attribute that you are referring to is. We have printed the speed in here, but did we set it into the instance of the object? No. How do we set it into 
the object the way we can do that is by using this self which is present in here you can do self so to the current object we want to create an attribute called speed in the current object we want to create an attribute called speed and what is the value of that attribute is the parameter which is passed in so the way we refer to the parameter is just like that but what we want to do is we would want to take it and set it into an attribute called speed the way we do that is by saying self dot speed so on the current object we would want to set an attribute called speed with the value that is coming into this parameter now you'd see that these two statements are printing the speed of honda and ducati so honda speed is 50 and ducati speed is 250 isn't that cool so what we are able to do in this step is we are able to enhance our motorbike class and we created a constructor and we made the constructor initialize data what i'll do now is i'll remove the print statements which makes the entire thing confusing and run this again and you'd see that honda.speed is set and ducati.speed also is set we use the constructor typically to initialize the attributes on a object so over here the attribute which we wanted to set was an attribute called speed so we initialize the motorbike with a speed called 50 and we created an instance of it and we called it honda over here we set the speed to 250 and we were able to print the content of it i'll leave you with an exercise we have created the book class earlier and over here what we did was we made the name as a separate thing so we set name separately what i would recommend you to do as an exercise is to change this and pass the name of the book as part of the constructor of the book class so i would want to be able to say instead of the art of computer programming dot name i'd want to be able to take this and put it in here and remove this line of code and do the same thing for these two things as well so create a constructor and solve this problem and i'll see you in the next step until then bye bye